I'm going to show you how to set up some practice games and how I use them to train players. There are two training techniques that really work. One is the guided discovery method of training and the other is controlled repetition. The guided discovery method guides players through a step-by-step -step process of improvement so the players understand what they can do to improve and very importantly they see that what the coach recommends works. Here is how I will do it. I will give the players the basic rules of the game. They will play the game one time. At the end of each game, I will ask each player's score and give one tip. The players who use the tip will improve. They will see immediate results. They will see that the tip works and they will start to listen to the coach because the tips will help them get better scores. So they start to trust the coach and to listen. Each of the games will be short because that allows for more tips. It is like constant positive reinforcement and controlled repetition. We are at D1 Sports in Franklin, Tennessee. D1 trains athletes, including professional athletes. I've never before met the boys I'm working with today. They are recreational players, not travel team players. So this is like a first practice. I intentionally keep the practice game short. We will only play to six in most games. I'm going to tell the players that if they hustle, and if they have a great attitude, that I will reward them after practice with some of our motivational reward patches. That's it for this video. There are lots of soccer coaching videos on Soccer Help that show our practice games, formations, how to teach soccer positions, and lots of soccer coaching tips. Thanks for watching.